Parker, was this a case of you guys finally figuring it out, or Tyler Hero figuring it out for you to get the offense finally going? Um, well, I mean, it wasn't our best uh, offensive game, um, but we found some solutions, and then and that second unit was really inspiring, uh, you know, in that fourth quarter uh, to create that separation. Uh, and Tyler just got into a, a, a great rhythm. Um, when the ball was finding him uh, for a couple of easy ones. And then, you know, he does what he does also. And he made a couple of tough ones uh, as well. Um, but everything was sparked by that defensive energy, full court, um, multiple efforts, uh, you know, the gang rebounding, all of that stuff. It was like a, um, a tale of, of two teams. But, you know, with that said, I don't want to take anything away from Detroit. Uh, it wasn't totally about us. I mean, that, that team is fast. They're, um, they're athletic, they're quick off the dribble. Um, they just keep on coming at you. Um, so you really have to be, um, you know, razor sharp on, uh, you know, your defensive uh, execution, your focus, and and uh, doing things with force. Was this a case of your defense holding you in there? Because, I mean, there were some sets where they just No question about it. Yeah. Uh, no question about it. We were not in a great rhythm uh, offensively, particularly in that first half. I don't think anybody in that locker room felt like uh, there was a rhythm or flow um, in that first half. And, you know, Detroit had a lot to say and, and do about that. Um, but we didn't really play with great energy and pace and, and multiple uh, actions and getting the ball from one side of the floor to the other. Um, you know, in the second half, we had a little bit more of that, but I also just thought the, the defensive stops, uh, the consecutive ones, um, led to some – easier four on fours and, and different things in transition. Kyle was really pushing the, the tempo in the fourth quarter. Uh, I, I love it when, when Kyle is so aggressive like that. Uh, it just creates so many opportunities and, and uh, a momentum, you know, for your team offensively. And then your rotation change, Gabe in and Max out. What's sort of the background there? Well, this team was so uh, quick and that's, you know, not something, you know, that, uh, you know, it's any kind of indictment on, on Max. Mm -hmm. uh, it's just the speed and quickness. And they, they were playing small ball. I, I, it just felt that we, it felt like we needed another ball handler out there um, and another guy that could uh, contain um, off the dribble. And um, again, um, the combination of Gabe and Caleb were, were really good on the ball, um, applying that pressure, speeding guys up, um, but also containing and, and keeping the ball out of the paint. Just to be on the defense. How do you feel like the zone work just to kind of stabilize things and make a change? You know, the tempo of the game? we had to go to it. Uh, you know, in the in the second quarter uh, and the beginning of the third, they're just chewing us up. You know, in our in our man, and um, you know, at, at that point we got that double digits. It was just you know we went to it to just try to change the tempo of the game. Um, and those guys did that and some, you know, the, their energy and, and multiple efforts was really inspiring. I know Tyler could get going at any point in a game, but you, you seem to trust him in the fourth quarter ever since he was 19 and he got here. He's been playing in those big moments. So what makes him so good? And, and just well, there's a lot of different yeah. factors to that. You know, one, um, all the confidence that he has that's born out of all the hours and work, you know, behind the scenes. Um, but he's willing to put himself out there, you know, as well, uh, you know, because you're going to have some nights where, you know, it's, it's not, you know, going for you. Um, but he really becomes energized in, in those kind of moments when there's an opportunity for big shots or momentum shifting type shots. Uh, and that's what he was able to do in the fourth quarter today. Take one on zone. So. All right, we'll go with uh, Cooper Moorhead, heat.com. Go ahead. I suppose we know we know that you guys are going to give up some threes, whether you're in man or zone. But it seemed like the quality of looks Detroit was getting was hugely diminished in the second half. It, what do you really attribute to that? Uh, a lot more energy, you know. And sometimes it, it's that. Sometimes it's not about the scheme, um, but it's about you know the multiple efforts. You know, even though they got to a double digit lead at the start of the third quarter, I, I thought we had a much different disposition, you know, defensively. And we were able to keep the ball in front of us. They did make, uh, you know, a couple tough shots um, without, you know, breaking the defense down. But they did get up, you know, 10, 12 points. Um, and then that's when we shifted, you know, to the zone and, and 
went with the second unit and they just gave us a great uh, spark and, and energy. Thank you. All right, so that's it. Thank you. Okay, thank you.